Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. Hope you guys have been having an awesome time over the last month or so. It's been a historic market. Hopefully you guys have been getting a piece of that action and making some money. I've definitely made some money over the last few weeks to month. So hopefully your guys' portfolio has been looking as good as mine. And kind of having said all that, I want to go through and detail what I have in my portfolio. A few of you guys have been asking about this for some time now. So I thought I'd just go through and kind of detail some of the big changes I made and just kind of give you guys a sense of what's in my portfolio. So having said that, let's kind of jump in here. I have all these stocks uh, segregated per market sector. Up on top, I have my high dividend yield ETFs, DVY, SCHD, SDY, SPHD, and VYM. Below that, I have my healthcare companies, first pharmaceutical companies, ABBV, LLY, Eli Lilly and Company, PFE, Pfizer, and PTLA Portola. I put quite a bit of money into Portola here, about $20,000 or so. It's got an absolute blockbuster drug in the pipeline. If approved by the FDA, FDA it'll, be its, uh, uh, it'll be the only drug in its particular class, uh, the first of its kind. So it's going to be an absolute blockbuster if it's approved. It's kind of a speculative move, kind of risky, because, because if it's not approved, the uh, stock is going to uh, plummet. But if it is approved, I can see that stock doubling over the next few months or so. Uh, below that, I have some services companies, ABT, Abbott Laboratory, CAH, Cardinal Health, and J&J, Johnson & Johnson. Below that, I have my industrial stocks, Aerospace, BA, Boeing, LMT, Lockheed Martin. Below that, I have some conglomerates, GE, General Electric, 3M, MMM, uh, Machinery and Illinois Toolworks, ITW, uh, Railroad Company, CNI, and UNP, Supply Company, IP, International Paper, and one chemical company on the bottom there, DOW, Dow Chemical. Below that, I have consumer discretionary automobiles, Ford, F, well, one of my largest holdings, largest holdings actually right now in my portfolio, GM, General Motors. Below that, uh, some uh, uh, electronics companies, uh, GRMN, actually only one electronics company, uh, Garmin Limited. Below that, Target, that's really taken a beating over the last couple of weeks here. Luckily, I only have one particular share of that. Below that, restaurants, YUM, Yum Brands, excuse me, uh, MCD, McDonald's, and YUMC, Yum Brands, China. Those are actually out of the order right now. Uh, below that, I have an apparel company, Textile, VFC, VF Corporation. Below that, Agriculture, uh, ADM, Archer Daniels Midland. Below that's foodstuffs, SYY Cisco. Below that, I have some household products, CL, Colgate, KMB, Kimberly Clark. And uh, if I didn't point this out already, below the ticker symbols, uh, basically say how many shares I have of each particular company to give you an idea of what kind of percentage uh, these stocks are holding in my portfolio. Uh, SHY going into packaged goods, Hershey Company, KHC, Kraft Heinz Company. Below that, personal goods, PG, Procter & Gamble. Below that, beverages, BUD, Anheuser-Busch, KO, Coca-Cola, PEP, PepsiCo. Below that, I have my financials, BOFI, Bank of the Internet, HBAN, Huntington Bank Shares, WFC, Wells Fargo & Company. I have one insurance company there, ORI, Old Republic International. I have some IT stocks, IBM, International Business Machines, AAPL, Apple, AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, and INTC Intel. Uh, I also have MSFT Microsoft there. Below that, I have my telecoms, T for AT&T, VZ for Verizon. I have one energy stock there, XOM, ExxonMobil. Below that, some utility companies, CNP, Centerpoint Energy, ED, Consolidated Edison, SO Southern. Below that, I have some real estate investment trusts, first starting with APLE, Apple, Hospitality, FRT, Federal Realty Investment Trust, O, Realty Income Delaware, and STAG, STAG Industrial. Then I have some closed-in funds on the bottom there, a GOF, Guttenheim Fund, PCM, PCM Fund Incorporated, PSEC for Prospect Capital Corporation, and PTY for PIMCO Corp. Uh, income fund. Below that, one bond fund, BHK, uh, that is a BlackRock fund. And then I have some penny stocks I've been playing around with, BAC plus B, that is a Bank of America Corp stock. 
uh, Credit Swiss stock below that, DHY, PIP, Pharmathene, and SDR, Sand Ridge, Mississippi, and Trust. So those are the stocks I currently have in my portfolio. And again, below each ticker symbol is the number of shares I have. And so far, it's been very, very good to me over the last few weeks or so. Overall, I'm up quite a bit. I've been doing some day and swing trading in there as well. So that has definitely uh, bolstered my returns by uh, quite a large margin, actually. About 50% of my returns are off day and swing trades. But I'm also a very big proponent of buy and hold strategies. So that is my portfolio. Let me know what you guys think of my portfolio, if there's anything to add to, if there's anything to get rid of. Um, let me know. I'm always interested in hearing what you guys have in your portfolio. So kind of with that, I'll end the video. As always, if you enjoyed my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. The whole point of my videos is to learn about the markets and have some fun. So until next video, we'll see you then.